Hello everybody. I'm having a candy attack again. Now, I've already tried this candy. I discovered it today. I went to Kmart to get some things and at the checkout they had these for 25 cents. It's a little box. And I love hot tamales. So I saw hot tamales and then it says tropical heat. So I was curious. I've never had tropical heat. I've had I, I think it's new because I've never seen this before. If it's not new, I've never seen it before, but it's only 80 calories. Well, I bought four because it's 25 cents each, so I figured I'd, I'd get four and spend a dollar. But um, these will be cool to give out at Halloween, you know, these little. But I was curious about the tropical heat because hot tamales are cinnamon flavored ordinarily, but these are tropical flavored. And they're made by the same company as Mike and Ike's. So Mike and Ike has tropical Mike and Ike's. And they also have hot tamales, but, you know, they've never crossed. So this, I figured, oh, it's kind of a cross between the Mike and Ike's and the hot tamales. So I was curious. So anyway, I already tried them, but let me give you a rundown. So my mouth is watering because I already know what they taste like. Now, as usual, it comes with all colors, but these are so pretty. They're, they're speckly. See, so this will be like an orange one or, you know, I never really distinguish between the flavors. Maybe they have different flavors. This one's green. It doesn't have any coloring on it. Because uh, I usually just shove them all in my mouth at once. I mean, for the videos, I, I don't, you know, I, I eat them, but... The greens, okay, the green, this one has um, some speckles on it, darker speckles. So that's how, the, that's the colors. Um, and I was, tr when I tried them, I was trying to figure out what is it, what is causing that, that heat, because they don't taste like cinnamon at all. They taste tropical. Because so I figured, how are they going to, and I read the ingredients. Now, I've never read the ingredients of the hot tamales. I just figured they're cinnamons, you know, so I never paid attention. And cinnamon by itself already is kind of spicy and it gives you the heat. But I was wondering how can you have tropical flavor without, with heat and not... I can't see the ingredients now because for some reason, even though I changed my prescription of my contact lenses, I can't read the label very well. I probably need more light, but I see it here. The only thing I see different in this candy that, that I notice, the first ingredient is fumaric acid. Fumeric acid, which, let's Google that. I don't know what that is. Here, I'll, I'll Google it here. Uh, I'm thinking that's what's causing the, the spiciness flavor. I've never seen that. I mean, it also has citric acid and malic acid. Malic acid is what makes it sour flavor. And citric acid is kind of sour, too. But the fumeric acid is a new ingredient to me. I've never... Uh, seen that, that before. I know formic acid is is the acids um, that ants dispel. The the red ants that bite. Let's see, fumaric. So I wonder if it's related. Fumaric acid. Let's see what that is. Fumaric acid. They actually sell it as you know in a jar by itself. Fumeric acid. Fumeric acid is a chemical compound. Fumeric acid or transbuted. Fumeric acid or transbutenedioic acid is the chemical compound with the formula HO2CCH equals CHCO2H. I mean, I'm not a chemist, but it is produced in U. Eukaryotic organisms from oh goodness, <laughs> succinate, succinate, suc, succinate, 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 succ, succinate in complex two of the electron transport chain via the enzyme succinate dehydrogenase. So I'm just as confused now as I was. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I, I want the layman's terms. What is it? Okay. 
Let's see, what is fumaric acid used for? Here we go. This, this will help me. Fumaric acid is found in fumater fumatory bolete mushrooms. And in parentheses it says fumaria officinalis. Speci and in other parentheses, specifically boletus formentarius var pseudo pseudo niarius okay licht licht lichen and iceland moss fumarate is an intermediate in the citric acid cycle used by cells to produce energy in the form of adenosine triphosphate ATP from food. It still has not told me what the heck it is. Okay, is uh, okay. Here we go. Here's a good one. What is the difference between malleic acid and fumaric acid? Um. Okay. This this is not going to help me either. It's another one of those. You know, the molecule consists of the ethylene group flanked by two carboxylic acid groups. Malleic acid is the cis isomer of the butanidioic acid, whereas, fumar whereas fumaric acid is the trans isomer. The cis isomer is the less stable. Well, can we just, I just need like an, Okay, fumaric acid, wait a minute. Okay, let me start over. Let me not just do, let me do what? Uh, wh now what, I'm gonna Google, so that I get like a layman's explanation, because I'm assuming it's a, it's, okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna ask a question. Does fumaric acid make food spicy? Let me just ask a question. Does fumaric acid make candy spicy candy spicy spicy question mark sometimes I just ask it like it's the magic eight ball and I just ask a question and it gives me an answer okay what acid makes things sour there's a there's a um, video I didn't expect this candy attack to take so long I'm sorry um Why does your tongue bleed when you eat a lot of warheads? Hmm. I wonder if warheads also use fumaric acid. The burn in warheads. Okay, here we go. Warheads is another kind of candy, which I actually don't know if I've ever tried. Because I don't usually like hard candies. I like soft, you know, like chewy candy. But large quantities of malic acid cause... Uh, okay, so what's behind the burn of warheads? I'm going to try that. Extreme sour, but it's talking like it's sour. Malic acid. Warheads extreme sour ca hard candy derive their strong sour flavor primarily from malic acid. So that's, that's not helping me. Fumaric acid. Okay, fumaric acid is uh, partially citric acid apparently. But here we go. What acid makes things sour? I know that's the malic acid that makes things sour. But let's see this video. Sour? What acid makes things sour? Okay, I'm going to watch this video. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I still can't find an answer. I watched that video, and all the video is saying is tell, it's talking about malic acid and tartaric, tartaric acid, which is another acid, I don't know. But here's another question that popped up when I put fumaric acid. It says, does fumaric acid have a dipole moment? I don't know what a dipole moment is. The molecules of malic acid have a stronger net dipole moment than fumaric acid. The molecules of malic acid malic acid are polar and easily hydrated by the polar water molecules 
Moreover, the molecules of fumaric acid are more tightly packed compared to those of malleic acid. That still doesn't explain anything. I mean, if you're a chemist, you probably understand, but... Okay, I don't know. Fumaric acid, I don't know what it is. If there are any chemists watching, if you could explain what it's doing to these hot tamales, I'd appreciate it. Because these do not taste like cinnamon. And they burn. So, alright, I'm kind of going to give up. I mean, I'll have to do more research. I'm kind of disappointed in Google. I just want... I'm going to try one more thing. I'm sorry, I'm just so curious. There are all these videos about it, but all they do is talk about... All they're doing is talking about chemistry and using chemical terms. A dipole moment, there's a video about dipole moments. So I'm going to do a lot more research. And I'll, uh, maybe at the end of this video, I'll add that on. But let's get to the candy, because I'm getting a little bit frustrated here. Because I'm going to have to do, like, hours of research to understand all this stuff. So, Okay. So these candies are so delicious. Getting back to the important part. And I... So I was in the car, I just left, and I couldn't wait. First I was going to just try it when I got home, you know, and did this video, but... Okay, so stop talking, let's eat. So here we go, so here's the candy. I'm going to put two in my mouth, they're two different flavors. I, I don't really care what flavor, they're all tropical, so... Mm. So you bite it, you get it first in your mouth, and like the first... There we go. Like the first three or four seconds... You taste just the tropical flavor. It tastes just like tropical Mike and Ike. And then, your tongue starts to burn. It doesn't hurt. I guess it's soft enough that it doesn't hurt. But, it kind of, you feel it burning your tongue and, your, and it going down your throat. The burn. Mmm. I love this candy. Mm. I'm so happy to have discovered something new. Because the problem is when you eat candy all your life and like you've tried everything, you start to get bored. You know, you, you pick out your favorite few, but you start to get bored with, with the experience, you know. You go to faves, you know. But this is exciting. Yeah. It's not extremely sour and it's not extremely spicy. I'm hoping they'll come out with one that's extremely spicy. Where you bite into it, you don't feel it, and suddenly it burns, but not to the point where it hurts you, of course, but you get that sometime from ammonia licorice. Uh salt salt licorice. It's got a little bit of ammoniac in it. So this is a... But it's a completely tropical flavor. So anyway, tropical heat. I encourage you to try them if you see them. I found these at Kmart for 25 cents. Um, see, sugar, corn syrup, modified starch... Contains less than contains less than 0.5 percent of the following ingredients: fumaric acid, natural and artificial flavors, malic acid, citrus a, citric acid. See, I always look at the ingredients, and I sort of I sort of know. You know, I always read the same ingredients almost on everything I, on all my candies. That's why the only thing I see different today is this fumaric acid. Okay, so here's one thing I found for fumaric acid. They sell it, you know, in this 500 milligrams for, I don't know, oh, $39, I guess. But that, it's in French, so I don't know. And it says it's, this is French, but I, I understand French. That's, that's my major. It says that it, they use it to, um, hmm, composer naturellement présent dans la peau. I think it says that it's naturally in your skin. 
and it's against psoriasis, see? Contre le psoriasis. It's used against psoriasis. It, go, it gives very good results to people who have, um, you know, moderate to severe psoriasis. And composé naturellement présent dans la peau. I think it's saying that it's, it's a, and the acid is naturally present in your skin. Some of you are from Canada. Maybe some of you speak French. Uh, maybe some of you are from France. So, so it's actually a, a medicine. Uh, it can be used as a medicine, obviously. Um, so that that's in French. That was the first thing that came up. Um, let me close that and see what else came up. Another result here. Malleic acids are related. You know, malle so it's related to malleic acid. Malleic, but I've also seen it spelled without the E, is what causes sour. But it doesn't really cause the spicy, or at least the candies I eat, I never noticed that they were spicy, I just noticed a sourness about them. See, what is fumaric acid used for? I asked, I actually clicked on that before. Found in mushrooms. Okay, so it's found in mushrooms. Um, what contains fumaric acid? Let's try that. What contains fumaric acid? Look, there's another acid. Earth, erythorbic. I'm going to look into that. What does fumarate do? Okay. Fermented, canned, dried, and processed fruits and vegetables can contain the food additive as well. Rice cakes. Okay, so it's obviously edible. Rice cakes and other pre-cooked rice foods, dried or preserved eggs. So it's a preservative. Um, maybe the fumaric acid doesn't cause it to be spicy, but then I don't know what's in there that's causing it to be spicy because uh, foods, search for what contains. Yeah, I already looked at this. What is the difference between malic acid and fumaric acid? And then it gave me that whole you know, scientific explanation that made no sense to me. Um, what has fumaric acid in it? Fumaric acid foods. Okay. It's naturally maybe in some food. Fumaric acid foods. Uh, let me go back here. Desserts and sweet. Intense aftertaste. Okay. That's what it's giving me. Yeah. That's maybe that's what's happening. It's the aftertaste because, like I said, it kicks in and then you it kicks in like a few seconds after you put it in your mouth. So, bolete mushrooms. So, it's found in mushrooms in bolete mushrooms, Iceland moss, and lichen. So, it's it's um that's interesting. And human skin naturally pr produces the acid when it's exposed to sunlight. A synthetic form of fumaric acid is used as a food additive to enhance flavor and sourness. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration considers it safe. Um, okay, so you can read that. Fumaric acid is added to certain desserts to give them a more intense aftertaste, according to Michael Davidson, author of Antimicrobials. Gels and desserts are one example of foods... Uh, I'm putting sugar in there. Yeah, but I thought it would give it a very dairy foods, grain product. Let's see if it says something about candy. Processed foods. Okay, I think we read that already. Oh, look at those pretty dresses. You know how when you uh, over you. U.S. and salts of fumaric acid. Okay. Well, it has something to do with it. But um, if you're a chemist or if you know anything about chemistry, tell me if that's what's causing it to be spicy, though. Because it says it, it causes to, be, to taste sour, but um, maybe it's causing the sour to be intense and then it's, you know, spicy, too. Okay, thanks, guys. Thanks for watching.